Hey everyone, Angelica Curtis here. Welcome to my channel. If you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. So it is the end of 2016 and I have read a total of 22 books, um, some audio, some hard copies, and I wanted to go over some of my favorite books and have made the most impact on me this year. So I'm going to go over my very first um, one on the list is um, The Richest Man in Babylon. I did an audiobook, but I wanted you guys to see the cover of this. And um, this book definitely is one of those books that you're probably going to end up reading or I will be reading for the rest of my life. It definitely, it's a great journey story. Um, I feel like it really showed me the discipline of saving money and how to make sure you put yourself first in your savings and the rest will just figure itself out. And this year I put it in effect and it really worked. I was able to put some money away and now I'm able to be in a position to invest into um, a couple of business ventures for next year. So I'm definitely excited about that. It's, um, it's a great read if you love um, journeys and stories, stuff like that, um, historic type of book. It's a, it's a great one. So I would say the second book would be The 10X Rule. Also did an audio book of this. Um, it's by Grant Cardone. Um, I think I read maybe two other books by Grant Cardone this year. But um, The 10X Rule, it definitely showed me like it's for real. No matter what you decide to do, whether it be a project, starting a business, um, even like personal health it's gonna take so much more than you even think it's going to take. So the 10X rule, like you think it's gonna be like, oh, one, two, three, no. It's gonna be a lot more effort and basically it just kind of tells you not to give up. If you set a goal for yourself, follow through with it. You know it's gonna be way more than you even thought it's gonna be, but it'll be worth it. And I'm still working on that uh, today and um, I definitely think it's gonna be like a great read for you. The third book, I did an audio, um, Jump by Steve Harvey. I absolutely love Steve Harvey. So this book was like perfect for where I'm at in my um, journey to success. And I feel like he just nails it to anybody who's on the path of success and following dreams. And you really just have to take a leap of faith and just know that um, everything in the universe or God, however you um, look at it, is it's gonna happen. And I feel like I'm in a jumping process and I'm hitting rocks and it's rough and I don't plan on giving up and I hope my parachute opens um, sooner than later, but I know it's, it's gonna happen whenever it's supposed to. And it just, um, he just goes and he tells you like how he got to where he is and don't give up and you never know like, the day you give up, what if you would have like got your dreams come true the next day? So like you just can't give up and you have to take that jump because if you don't take the jump, you're always just going to wonder like, what if this, what if that? And you just can't live life like that, especially if you're, you know, an entrepreneur, you're pushing for your dreams and you know, you just have to do it. And, um, it was, it's a definitely, it's a good book. Um, I recommend it. Um, those are my top three books. Um, I will go over one of the hard copy books and it is The Glitter Plan. I am in the fashion industry, so this book was my favorite of the fashion books that I read this year. And I just felt like the girls were such characters. They were like, Everything you think of juicy and like bright and bubbly is exactly what you get out of this book. And I feel like it really showed you like, or showed me uh, what it's gonna take to really be successful in the fashion industry. And kind of goes back to the 10X rule. Like it's just gonna be so much more than you think. You think, you know, it's just sketching and picking fabrics or, you know, doing this and that. And it's just so much more than that. And um, I loved reading their journey and, um, I kind of got to see some things that they went through, some you know rough times that they went through with their business and things that I would probably do differently. And they got their heart broken, they were able to achieve their goals. It was just 
a great book for um, an emerging designer, which I am. And um, I would recommend that if you're in the fashion industry or love Juicy and love hearing their story. Um, yeah, definitely a great one for a physical book to read. I am going to leave all of the books that I read, the 22 books that I read, and I'll let you know if I did audio or hard copy. I um, spent a lot of time at an office this year and I decided to do a lot of audiobooks while I was sitting at a desk. And so the majority of the books that I went through this year were audio and that's just how I intake the books. So it's up to you if you want to do audio or physical book, but I'm going to leave all the books kind of in an order of like how I would like them, these being the top three. And then um, hopefully, you know, you can pick up some of the books and let me know. I would love to hear about like what books you felt really um, made an impact on you in 2016. I need to get a new book list for 2017. So I'd definitely be interested in hearing um, about it. And I can't wait to talk to you guys in the comments. Happy 2017. Goodbye 2016.